When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is Copy, Paste, and More. I'm going to show you some keyboard shortcuts that will make your life much easier in the computer world. I've assembled a list of the top 10 keyboard shortcuts that will help you get the most out of your computer. Let's start with the two most common ones, Copy and Paste. You have your PC, you're looking at websites, and you find an article that really interests you, and you'd like to save it or perhaps share it with somebody. You open it up on your PC with your left mouse button, click, hold, and select the text that you want to copy. After you've copied the text, on your keyboard, hold on the control key and the letter C. This will place the selected text into an invisible temporary clipboard internally on your computer. Once you have it there, open a Word document and figure out where you want to place your copied item. Now on your keyboard, hold down the control key again and press the letter V as in Victor. This will paste it into the Word document or the email wherever you happen to place it. The clipboard is a temporary storage place. If you copy something else, the original item will be deleted and replaced by the new item. If you shut down your computer, the clipboard will be cleared. Now that we've seen a representation of what it looks like, let's actually go and see what it looks like in real life. If you're looking at a web page and you see an article or a paragraph that you'd like to save or send in an email, take and select it with your left mouse holding down. You can start either at the top or bottom going back and forth either way. If you get too much or too little, just stop, do it over again. You can include pictures, images, videos, and so forth in your copied area. However, when you go to paste it, a lot of times they don't show up very well. So, copy, control C, and then let's go control V to paste. Let's open up a Word document, and with our cursor we'll select where we want to place the copied text. Hold down the control P, press the V key, and there you have the article that you copied from your web page. Now, you can just save it as it is, or we spice it up a little bit. So let's go back to our top 10 keyboard shortcuts and see what we can do. To change the font style, or perhaps the font size, of the entire text, you'll first have to select all the text. Now you could click and drag it, but an easier way is Control A. It selects all the text at one time. Hold on to Control A and everything is selected. To deselect it, just click on any blank area on your document. Now, what else can we do to spice up this article? First of all, you have to tell the computer what you want to spice up, so you need to select some text. So let's grab some text, highlight it with our left mouse, drag and hold it down until we have it selected. We might want to make it bold. Keyboard shortcut, control and the B key makes it bold. We'll go back to the article, hold down the control key, tap the B key, changes it to bold. If we want to emphasize some other parts of our text, let's go ahead and select another few words on our text article. Again, taking our left mouse, click, drag, and hold until we've selected the items that we want to emphasize. Now let's go back to our top 10 keyboard shortcuts list and choose another option. It's Control plus the letter U will underline. Okay, let's go back to our article. We've got it highlighted, control U, and now we have underlined text. As you're reviewing your article, you might find a, a word or a sentence that perhaps you don't want to have there, 
or you want to move it to a new location. First of all, you want to select it by holding down your left mouse button and dragging across the text that you want to remove. Once you've selected it, Control X will cut it. You take and hold down your Control key and press the letter X. Now the selected text is removed from the article. If you wanted to place it someplace else in the article, you just place your insertion point where you wanted it, Control V to paste it in there. Because when you Control X something, it puts it into the clipboard. If you've had something else in the clipboard previously, that's gone, and this replaces it. Remember, your clipboard can only hold one item at a time, and it's a temporary invisible storage area. Now, if you wanted to print your article on your keyboard, Control P brings up your print dialog box, and you can print from there. Now, this is not really helpful in a Word document because it's pretty easy to get your print document. But if you happen to be on a web page and you want to print something, hold down your control key and press the letter P. This will bring up the print dialog box. From there, you can print all or the entire page, or press selection, which will print the items that you have highlighted. If you want to print page one, page two, or page three, you indicate down there on the pages. After you've selected that, hit your print box. Now your choice will be printed. Okay, after having printed it, if you want to save your document, instead of looking up on the menu bar, let's look for a keyboard shortcut. Back to our top 10 keyboard shortcuts. Control S will save your document. Go back to your document, Control S brings up the Save As box and save your document. Now, after all this embellishment on your article, if you decide you made a mistake or you want to change something, you have what kids used to call a do-over. But in this case, it's called undo. Control Z on your keyboard. Control Z will back up and place that Control X item back in your document. If you hit Control Z a second time, the underlined lines are the underlines removed. Control Z again, the bold goes back to plain. If, however, you decide you want to undo your undo, there is a redo. Control Y will reverse your undo, and again Control Y again. So you can go back and forth until you get dizzy like I am. I hope this has helped you. These are the top 10 keyboard shortcuts that I think will make your life a little easier. If you like these videos, please subscribe. My YouTube channel is free. Enjoy this video? Click on the like button below. Leave a comment below to help me improve. Or tell me what you'd like to see me in a future video. Remember, our generation invented the shake, rattle, and roll. Bye for now.